Hi there, Psych2Goers. Welcome back to another video. Narcissism and sociopath are two terms that are thrown around often. You may even wonder, what's the difference? Both conditions come with a lot of stigma. So to understand them better, we will be looking at the differences between them. What is sociopathy? What is commonly known as sociopath is actually a person with antisocial personality disorder, ASPD. Sociopathy is not a medical term and is most commonly referred to by its associated condition. People with ASPD tend to have frequent issues following rules and laws, have a lack of empathy towards others, and act impulsively. According to the Cleveland Clinic and Mayo Clinic, some other signs of ASPD include lack of remorse after hurting another person, reckless behavior, chaotic and abusive relationships, manipulative behavior, disrespect towards others, substance abuse. ASPD is considered a cluster B personality disorder, meaning that the behavior is emotional, unpredictable, and dramatic. Approximately one to 4% of people in the US are suspected to have this condition, but it can be hard to tell as people often go undiagnosed. What is narcissism? A narcissist is someone with narcissistic personality disorder, NPD. People with this condition tend to think highly of themselves, lack empathy for others, and constantly seek praise. According to both Cleveland and Mayo Clinics, signs of NPD include grandiose sense of importance, manipulative behavior, viewing others as inferior, feeling entitled, arrogance, and will only associate with people they feel are of high status. Like ASPD, NPD is also a cluster B personality disorder, and people often go undiagnosed as they do not typically seek treatment. Approximately 5% of the population is believed to have this condition. How are they similar? Symptoms of NPD and ASPD do overlap in many ways. People tend to lack empathy towards others and may take advantage of people to serve their needs. They can appear charming and will use that trait to win others over. In general, people with either condition will tend to focus on themselves first and use other people for their own gain. Untreated, relationships with others can be stormy and toxic. How are they different? One of the biggest difference between the two conditions is how people with NPD care highly about how others view them, whereas those with ASPD don't. People with NPD may work harder to keep marriages and jobs as they're more dependent on their status and need for approval. On the other hand, people with ASPD may leave anything once it no longer serves its purpose. Overall, people with NPD will work to keep gaining admiration, whereas those with ASPD will drift around to fulfill their needs. How are they treated? It's important to know that sufferers of NPD or ASPD are still people. They live with a condition that causes much stress to themselves and the people around them. While many don't pursue any type of mental health treatment or do so because they are forced, both conditions have options for treatment. Generally, they will require mental health professionals that have expertise in the specific disorder combination of medication along with psychotherapy are common to help manage symptoms of both disorders. While NPD and ASPD do have their similarities, they are different conditions with different problems and treatments. Remember to reach out to a qualified mental health professional if you're struggling. Getting in touch with the right person can be a great first step to improving your quality of life. What are your thoughts on the topic? What are some more similarities and differences? What have you learned? Let us know in the comments and remember to share with someone who might benefit. As always, the references and studies are listed in the description below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.